Hi guys, uh, just wrapping up two weeks in Canberra. It's been a very busy two weeks. It's been my first two weeks as an independent senator, so I've had to be my own whip, which means I have to watch the chamber all the time to know what divisions and what the purpose of each division is. So that's been very time consuming. However, the beauty of being an independent is, is I get to set my own agenda. So as I've said previously on social media last week, I moved a number of motions to have inquiries into certain matters that I'm very passionate about. The first motion that we moved was to have an inquiry into the duplications of roles and responsibilities of state and federal governments in Canberra. Unfortunately, that didn't get up, but I will continue to press that issue because it is very important that we crack down on the rules and regulations in this country, all the unnecessary rules and regulations and all the unnecessary bureaucrats that are costing you money as a taxpayer and stopping you from getting on with your life for these extra Red, with this extra red tape. So that didn't get up. Uh, I did get up an inquiry uh, into looking at the Tax Act and ways to reform the Tax Act. In particular, I'm looking at ways to change the Tax Act so that we can lower the income tax on people who go to work every day. We've really got an income tax rate in this country that is way too high. I hate taxes on people's wages. I think it's terrible and we really have to lower that. And one of the suggestions I've made is to increase the rate of withholding tax on profits offshore. We've got to stop letting our profits go offshore because what that does is it means we've then got to borrow more money and it also enables fine corporations to come in here and undercut local Australian businesses uh, and then sends them out and then puts them out of business as well. Uh, the other thing we moved last Friday, last Thursday, sorry, was a uh, reference to the Rural Regional Aviation and Transport Committee about looking at getting the federal government to use the military to build highways. Unfortunately, that didn't get up, but I will also continue to press that because even Eisenhower himself, the great general, knew that he needed the military to build federal highways. And I just think if we want to become self-sustaining as a country, we can't continue to rely on foreign building contractors to build our highways. We have to be able to build our own infrastructure in a very fast and efficient manner, uh, or otherwise, you know, how are we going to have a country that's self-sufficient? Uh, this week, uh, I've moved a motion, and it still hasn't been voted on yet, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get it, the numbers there either, to hold a judicial uh, inquiry into whether or not we should have a judicial in commission. Uh, as I said in the chamber last night, and I'll post my speech later on, uh, I think ju judges need to be held to account as well, and we need greater scrutiny and transparency of the judicial process. And there's lots of examples I could go on about, and I did in last night's speech. Uh, the other thing we did last week was we attended the farmers rally in Canberra because we want to help our farmers. We love our farmers. Uh, and then this morning, I also released uh, the People First tax policy, which of course is me, but even though there's only one of me, that's still more than the entire number of politicians in the Labor Party and the coalition who are talking about tax. And as I said, you know, it's the stuff that comes out of your pocket every week. And I want to make sure that the government takes as little as it of little of it as possible so that you can have more money in your pocket and control your own life. So anyway, that's a wrap up here from Canberra. I'll be back in my electoral office for the next couple of weeks before coming back here. And then after that, I'm planning on, I'm in the process of organising a trip around regional Queensland. So I'm looking forward very much to that trip and please continue to contact me with your concerns and I'll try and fight for you every day. Authorised G. Rennick People First Chermside.